Hey guys, RTT back here for the video. Guys, today we have an unboxing like no other. We have an unboxing of a 3090. Oh my god, guys. Full comparison, this is a 2080 Ti blower card by Arrow. And just take a look at that compared to the box, okay? This bad boy right here is already big. And this bad man is even huge huge guys it's even bigger and here we go time to cut the seals so this was sealed guys it was sealed and now the seals are cut and now oh my gosh okay guys okay that bad boy is so big oh my god hang on guys one second okay this is a 3090, and this is a 2080 Ti. Oh my gosh. Is this huge. Make sure you guys are seeing this, like the magnitude of this, guys. Oh my gosh. Like people said it was huge, and it actually is huge, guys. Oh. Dude, that is absolutely massive. Oh my god, bro. That is huge. Okay. I think everyone's like reaction to it is the same thing. How big it actually is. Because you don't really realize how big it is until you actually hold it in your hand. So in the uh, box, you do get the 8-pin adapter, which of course goes right here. Bam, just like that. And then that connects to two uh, eight pins um, from your, of course, from your motherboard. I mean, from your power supply. And then you also receive a quick start guide and a support guide. So, awesome. Guys, we're gonna get this installed in the PC. And we're gonna see how it looks, man. Cause I am excited to benchmark this, guys. In this video, we'll be benchmarking this PC and seeing what this truly is capable of. Um, guys, it's going to be absolutely insane. One second. Guys, the, it's in here. Look at this. So this, of course, is the dual 8 pin to the one right there. And guys, the first test boot for the 3090. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely insane. All right, the fans have not spun yet, but I think that is because unless it needs the fan, it doesn't spin the fans. And it also might be spinning the bottom fans. <sighs> Got to test boot, guys. We're going to now get into the computer side of things, and we're going to go ahead, guys, and get into benchmarking this bad boy. One second. All right, guys, now getting into the test boot of this bad boy. We're going to go ahead and run Valley to get these benchmarks, guys. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Hopefully, I was just about to say, hopefully it doesn't pop up on the wrong screen. And there's a good chance it will always will. So we're going to switch cameras, guys. There we are. All right. So I am running this now on my uh, 1440 feet ultra wide. So what I'm going to do is because I can't get a good, like, you can't ever record ultra wide and without having it be stretched like this. I'm going to go ahead and record it like this, and I'm going to ultra wide it like that. Okay. So, guys, so far, we're seeing around. This is on ultra settings, guys. This is the highest settings. It is system, so it is uh, running at 3440 by 1440. And so far, I say, this is very quiet. A lot more quiet than the 28Ti. The 28Ti, I would hear it right now like a monster going off. Let's benchmark it, though, guys. Let's benchmark this. And guys, just for comparison's sake, this is what you can see right here. This is what it's running at. 55 degree, 56 degrees, 99 CPU usage. And you can see uh, the fans on how fast they're actually spinning. And of course, system specs is a RTX 3090. So let's see, man. I'm really interested to see what ends up happening here. Um, I don't know. I mean, we got really good numbers in the past with the 2080 Ti. We got up to, I think, what, 140, 150 FPS. And then we got up to, um, what's it called? We also got up to pretty decent when it comes to my um, score. 
So 3090, I'm expecting a little bit more. I mean, obviously the price tag <laughs> shows a little bit more. And I mean, obviously the price tag doesn't always dictate how much card goes for, but I mean, how much card is valued uh, powerful at, but still. All right. So let's see what this is, guys. I'm excited. I just woke up. I literally just woke up. So the package came. And I was like, okay, let's go ahead and make the unboxing, put it in the system, and let's see what this is walking with. Now, my CPU, as you saw, is a 9900K. So that is the CPU we're rocking for this uh, build. Um, so I'm not rocking a bad CPU. Definitely not the fastest out there. There, of course, are faster than a 9900K. But for the most part, that is... Um, by the way, on the fast side when it comes to gaming CPUs. So uh, definitely if you're looking to get 3090 with like an i5 or something like that, an i7, you're definitely going to have a lot more issues because of course it's not as fast of a CPU. But if as long as you pair it with a decent CPU, you should be absolutely fine. Uh, nonetheless though, this of course is Valley. Now we're going to be benchmarking this card in different games other than Valley. Valley is just the first example of what we'll be looking at. We're we'll be benchmarking this in all types of games. So again, not always does one benchmark dictate how good something is because, you know, one benchmark might change up depending on, you know, what you're doing. Now, I'm probably going to also uh, benchmark this in Blender. They have a, a benchmark feature, and I might also go ahead and benchmark it there. And I think that might give us a good example of how truly powerful this bad boy can get because it is insane right now, guys. And again, when I've done this benchmark, so I uh, can't tell. I'm excited about this benchmark to end and see what this actual results are. But uh, as you can see, 70, around 65 to 70, it's getting to uh, temperature wise. Now, you guys saw my case. I do have a smaller case. I have a mid tower from NZXT Creator PC. I did go ahead and put a thousand watt power supply. In this PC, I have a video on it on the channel. And of course, we went ahead and um, that's pretty much it when it comes to modification to the actual PC. Uh, PC. But of course, that bad boy literally took up the whole entire PC. All right, so our score is 140.2 FPS with 5,868. Max FPS to 16.2. And of course, a minimum of 44.6. So for our first uh, test boot, that was uh, lackluster. I I'm not I'm not really too happy about that. Now, I'm not. I forget what my actual original um, first benchmark was for the um, for the 28 Ti. I think it was something around the same range. I don't think it was too much more crazy better. I can go ahead and pull it up. Uh, let me see. I have a create a PC. Let me see. Where, where's that create a PC? Okay. Let me see what I, I benchmark it in my create a PC video. And it was at, okay. So my create a PC video is at 115.5 FPS. And so it is literally going to be, this card is going to be 35 FPS, no, 25 FPS, uh, better than my 2080 Ti blower card. And it is a score of over a thousand better with the low FPS with the creative PC being, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real fast. Uh, being, uh, what is that? 40.8 and 190.2. So it is a whole 1000, uh, FPS or overall score better. And it is better in both categories, max and minimum FPS. So guys, that's crazy. Now, again, like I said before, I do have a good CPU, but if I had a even more beastly CPU at like, you know, having a godlike CPU, like a um, 10 900K, or if I had a 9900KE, um, if I had, you know, a really expensive CPU, we could probably max this out even more. But for what we have right now, it's not bad. And another thing is, um, I might have to change some settings around and benchmark this again and see if we can get even higher because I might not have it completely optimized for it. It could have just out of the box for the whole entire, you know, rig going on. But guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, guys, go ahead now and test this bad boy after I went ahead and put the maximum 
settings i literally have this bad boy cranked up to what would be literally the best performance out of this 3090 so i do not have it overclocked but i do have it set up so that it's the best performance in the nvidia settings so it's still you know very very quiet definitely not as loud as it definitely could be um especially compared to 20 ti it's very very quiet compared to that card like i can barely hear it right now but i can hear it a little bit chugging and of course that makes sense because of course it is running a uh, benchmarking program so it is a little laggy on your end when it comes to the video of the benchmark but this benchmark is running in 3440 by uh 1440 so of course there's a little bit more power being consumed i'm recording a video as i'm doing this I wasn't recording a video i might be able to get a little bit more performance because i am using up a little bit of my cpu and gpu by recording this video but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it's looking like and currently we're almost halfway done at currently around on 150 fps now you guys saw before we went ahead and fixed all the settings stock out of the box just straight up out of the box we hit what 140.2 fps with a score of 5,800, and of course, minimum 44.6, maximum 216.2. So I'm expecting a little bit of increase after we go ahead and max this out and stuff, and we make it a little bit better. I'm expecting a little bit of an increase, maybe somewhere in the ballpark of like 160 FPS, maybe, hopefully, plus 10, plus 11, plus 12 FPS. Now, I probably will eventually overclock this bad boy. Uh, when you overclock it, you can get probably even higher than that. So there's still a lot of performance on the table right now for the GPU. Um, but again, for this test and how we're testing the GPU right now, I'm not going to test it with overclocking yet. We'll overclock it and test the overclock in like in the future videos. But for this video right now, this is what we're going to go ahead and have. Now we'll be showing my settings off in another video on how to optimize this uh, GPU and any GPU you have 100%. Uh, so stay tuned for that uh, video, but expect a lot more 3090 videos guys coming forward, especially now that we have the device in our hands, we're able to actually go ahead and benchmark it, test it out, overclock it, all that kind of great stuff. So I think we're almost done now and let's see what the actual benchmark is i mean i'm kind of excited about this at the same time i'm kind of scared uh it's still going to be it's already better than the 28 ti which we already expected the price tag we expected that but um how much better is it going to be than what we have right now because currently what we did here guys is we um up the settings a little bit so it actually wow it did worse I'm actually surprised on that one. It actually did worse than it did in the initial one when I optimized it. That's actually surprising. Okay. I mean, it's still doing pretty good. Just surprised that it did worse when I optimized it. Interesting. Overall, guys, that's pretty much it for the benchmark section of this video. Um, Again, I'm very surprised it actually did worse when I optimized it. I thought it would actually do better. I did turn off G-Sync, and I wonder if G-Sync did go ahead and hinder anything. I might do a benchmark without recording and see how that does. Hang on, guys.